Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Deanna LeBlanc. During tonight's press conference, Charlottesville Police Chief Tim Longo thanked everyone who has helped find Hannah over the past five weeks. Thousands of hours have been spent by literally hundreds of law enforcement and civilian volunteers in an effort to find Hannah. We think perhaps today proved their worth. Albemarle County Police Department will now take the lead on what's being called the death investigation. They're asking anyone in the area of Old Lynchburg Road or Walnut Creek Park who saw anything suspicious around the time that Hannah disappeared to call police. And 10 on your side's Liz Palka has been following this case from the beginning. She joins us live in Charlottesville tonight from the police department. But Liz, you also went to the scene earlier. What can you tell us? Deanna, we're live outside the Albemarle County Police Department. This agency has taken over what has now become a death investigation. We know that a body was found off Old Lynchburg Road in Albemarle County. I want to bring up something the police chief said during the news conference this evening. He said, we're not going to go into specifics. Well, we're finding that out here because there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, this is a very dark part of Albemarle County where this body was found. Uh, we know that it was found on an abandoned property, but we don't know exactly where that is. Let's show you some of the video we were able to get here in the last hour. There is still a very active scene in that part of Albemarle County where Old Lynchburg Road is. We know police had shut down a three mile stretch of Old Lynchburg Road today. It was blocked for a good portion of the day. Within that three miles is Walnut Creek Park. That is where a community search was scheduled to happen tomorrow morning. That is also where Albemarle County Police have a command center set up right now. We were just down there. It is still very active. A lot of vehicles, a lot of people there. They would only let us get so close, of course. Our NBC affiliate in Charlottesville says the body was found somewhere near that park. Of course, again, we know that there was a scheduled search that was supposed to happen in that area tomorrow morning, and that search has been canceled, according to the police department. Now, Old Lynchburg Road itself is a very dark and windy road. It is very heavily wooded. You really can't see a lot. There's no street lights. Uh, it is very easy to get to from downtown Charlottesville. In fact, it attaches, or maybe I should say it connects to Fifth Street, which is a main street through Charlottesville. And as you continue down Fifth Street, it turns into Old Lynchburg Road as you head south into Albemarle County. Uh, so it is very easy to get to, but the farther out you go, there's not as many houses that are close to the road, and really it's just hard to see out there. Again, a lot of activity throughout Charlottesville, throughout Albemarle County, especially down there, about five to six miles from where I'm standing right now. We are going to continue following this, bring you the latest on this case, uh, the search for Hannah Graham, and now this death investigation tonight and tomorrow here on Wavy News 10. Live in Albemarle County, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Liz, thank you. Now to recap the case for you at home, it's been five weeks since Hannah Graham disappeared. She was last seen Friday night, September 12th. A little after 1 a.m. Saturday, September 13th, police say she texted her friend saying that she was lost. A search for Graham began on Monday, September 15th. Two days later, Charlottesville Police Chief Tim Longo announced a person of interest in the case, but it wasn't until Sunday, September 21st, that Longo named Jesse Matthew Jr. as that suspect. Two days later, the police department charged Matthew with abduction with the intent to defile. He was taken into police custody in Texas on Wednesday, September 24th. Of course, the search for Graham continued until today. And remember, this isn't the only disappearance linked to Jesse Matthew. Virginia State Police announced that DNA from Matthew proved provided a major break in the 2009 case of Morgan Harrington. Harrington was a student at Virginia Tech. She was found murdered several months after she disappeared from the University of Virginia campus after attending a concert there. Matthew has not been charged in that case. And 10 on your side also reported Matthew had been investigated but never charged during his time as a student at Christopher Newport University in Newport News for a 2003 sexual assault there. 
Now, one of the things that was unusual about tonight's press conference, compared with many of the others Chief Longo has held over the past five weeks, police took no questions from reporters, and that left us wondering about a lot. So here's what we're hoping to learn more about. We want to know how long the autopsy and forensic analysis on those human remains could take. When could an identification be made? And we also want to know how police found this body. Liz mentioned police are not exactly saying the location where it was found. Andy's source tells us police got a tip about that location, but police say remains were discovered as part of a search. Now, if these remains are identified as that of Hannah Graham, which they have not been, but if they are, we want to know could Jesse Matthew face more charges. So as our news team gets more details, we will be sure to update you on air and on wavy.com. Go to the News tab, click on our Hannah Graham link, and you will find all of our detailed reports and, of course, a timeline of the case.